It's the latest turn in a long saga in North Miami Beach. Mayor Anthony DeFilippo is facing three felony charges accused of voting illegally. Yeah, this is a story NBC6 investigators have reported on now for months. NBC6 investigator Phil Prazen is live outside the state attorney's office with the details. Phil. Well, the small city of North Miami Beach has been engulfed in scandal for months now. We reported back in late February that prosecutors were reviewing the situation, and today they brought charges. Excuse me, Mr. McLaren. Please, thank you. Mayor Anthony DeFilippo walked out of Miami-Dade County Jail Wednesday afternoon. He now faces third-degree felony charges, accused of voting in three elections he wasn't qualified for. Each count may come with up to five years in prison. Wednesday afternoon, State Attorney Catherine Fernandez-Rundle laid out her case, hinging on the paperwork. Records show the mayor voted three times in 2022, registered from a house he sold the year before. Prosecutors subpoenaed cell phone data showing DiFilippo started Election Day at his property in Davie, traveled to vote at a North Miami Beach polling location, and then returned to his Davie property at night. His actions didn't match his sworn paperwork, she said. That is what he did here, in our, we believe, and the allegations we believe prove that he was voting in a county that he wasn't living in. Mayor DiFilippo will be completely exonerated and looks forward to having his day in court. Outside the jail, the mayor's attorney, Michael Pizzi, spoke to the press. We reported earlier this year on the mayor's sworn deposition where he revealed he was going through marital issues and lived at his mother's house and then in a one-bedroom condo in North Miami Beach while his family lived in Davie. The fact that he sold a piece of property uh, is something that every uh, citizen is allowed to do. The fact that he owns properties uh, in, in Davie or Alaska or California, he has a right to own property. I think everything I've said is clear and right. Earlier this year, we asked the mayor why he voted in three elections using that old address. He called it an honest mistake. It was an oversight and I had it fixed immediately when I noticed. I asked the state attorney if she thought the honest mistake defense will hold up against the paperwork. She told me that will have to be hashed out in court. And I expect that we will hear many defenses, and that's the process, and I respect that process. And over the past few months, political opponents have been battling it out from the dais and in court over North Miami Beach on questions on where the mayor lives and a boycott shutting down much of the city government. Now, at the end of all that so far, the mayor has kept his seat. One of the mayor's political opponents was just removed from his seat. His case, though, is still pending in court. Phil Prazen, NBC6 News.